Welcome back to the One Man Startup. In the last episode, I said we were going to talk about wireframing in this episode, which we will get to at the end. But first, I want to talk about planning and planning out your app properly. And the reason for this is you want to you want to know your plan before you even begin to do wireframing. So you might be asking yourself, why haven't we dipped into code yet? Why haven't we done any design work yet? Why haven't we really started building the app yet? I mean, all we have right now is the idea. And the reason for this is because we want to plan everything up, up front. We want to plan everything up front properly because in the long run, that's going to save us a lot of time. So yes, we're like four days in right now and we still haven't touched code. We still haven't even gone on the computer yet. We still haven't, we haven't done anything except paper, ideas, whiteboard, which is fine. That's good. We, this first whole week, by the end of this first week, we should have our design done. And so right now though, we're still planning. We're still planning. So a couple things with planning that we want to look at. We want to plan the features, right? So before we even begin to do wireframing, which for those of you that don't know, wireframing is basically just like a rough sketch of the app. So it's just like hand-drawn rough sketch of like what we want the app to look like, the design of the app. But we need to do a little bit of planning first so we can even get to that part. So a few things we need to know are the features. Like what features do we want on the app? Again, the app that we're going to be building is a budgeting, a budgeting app for travel. We want to be able to, in the app, go in and say we're going to go on a new trip and pick the location, say the date range and the time. And then within this, we want to be able to say, you know, so select location. And we want to be able to uh, put the time in, the time of the trip. Uh, and then we also want to be able to set our budget, right? This is like the, and that's going to be on a daily basis. This is, this is like going to be the core main feature of the app, right? So we're just going to be able to create a, a new trip and you'll be able to create as many trips as you want, pick the location, set the time. So if you're going to go for a three day trip, you can do that. You, you know, you'll be able to say like, I'm going to go from, you know, June 30th to July 4th. Uh, and then you want to set your budget as well. So you could do, you know, $200 a day or whatever you want your budget to be. This is going to be the main core of the app, right? So then once this is done, you'll have your trip, you'll have your upcoming trips. So you can create a trip and then you're gonna have upcoming trips, right? And that's just gonna show this trip that you created and all your trips created. So it's just gonna list, um, list created trips. All right, so that's good. That's going to be like the main feature of the app right there. We have our created trips. We want to be able to also go and view our, our previous trips or current trips. So we're going to want to be able to see the past trips. We'll call it, you know, past trips. So this is going to be a second, a second area slash feature of the app. And in past trips, we're going to be able to see We'll be able to view current trip. So as the current trip's going day by day, we want to be able to, you know, check in with our budget and say, you know, did I spend two hundred dollars today? I want the app should ask us that. You know, did you spend your budget amount today? Yes or no? If so, is it higher or lower? Um, and then also you can go back and see how much you actually spent. Like this would be like for like months later, you could go into your, you could go into your past trips and see what your budget was, were you over budget or under budget. And then we want your past trips to be uh, rated. So rated in the sense that you get either like above, like on budget or under budget. It'd be on budget, under budget or over budget. So budget rating. So, and I mean, the naming convention will change for that during, through the app. We might not call it actually rating because that kind of sounds like we're 
rating the actual trip. Um, which actually that might be cool too. Like you yourself can just rate your trip generally. So rate trip. That'd be I think that'd be a nice feature as well. And then also in your past trips part, you also can put notes. And this is all this can all happen during the trip but it can't happen before the trip. So this part is, past trips is more like past slash current trips. So all this, all this information can be updated while you're on the trip or after, but not before. Um, so also you could do like trip notes. So that's, that's like the second main area of the app. So the first area was just creating a new trip the second area here is looking at your current and past trips and updating that information. And then the third and final area for right now, the third and final area is going to be, we're going to call it explore for right now, but we, we might change the name. And what explore is going to do is going to give you data on a map of other people's average budgets. So Explorer is going to show map view or even a search. Um, and that, and that's going to give you an average budget. So so basically how this is, how the idea of this Explore page is going to be if you are planning an upcoming trip to New York City, let's say, you've never been there before, you don't really know what the what you should be planning your budget to be, you can go on the Explore page, search New York City, and it'll tell you, on average, other people's past trips, the last feature we just talked about, other people's past trips after their trip, their budget was, you know, $300 a day. And this is all, all the budgets I want on a daily, a daily, like a daily account. So we're not gonna be looking at budgets like long term. You will be able to see like, an, like a total trip budget, but everything needs to be daily because people do different, um, different trip lengths. So daily budget is definitely gonna be what we're going after here. So yeah, this will be uh, pretty simple, but I think actually one of the most powerful features of the app, because you're gonna be able to learn what actual people's budgets were for these locations. So yeah, so basically we have those three main features of the app. And now that we know that and we kind of thought it out more other than just the idea, we like wrote it down, we know what we want the app to do on a more exact sense. Like we know exactly three things. Like we know the app's gonna have at least three different major areas to it, right? So now we can go and wireframe these areas out. So, how that's going to work, I'm going to do a brief introduction to wireframing here and just why we want to do it. And then in the, in the next video, I'm actually going to do the wireframes for this app. So the reason we want to do wireframing before just jumping into design is because it's quick. It's quick and you can change it easily. So you don't need to get caught up in code or you don't need to get caught up on the computer with, uh, with the actual like you know, designing assets and stuff like that. You can just draw it out and make changes quickly, make changes fast. So for instance, let's just, let's do, I'll do a quick, simple wireframe right here. This is how, and I would, I mean, I would recommend doing this on paper because you're gonna wanna keep the, uh, you're gonna wanna keep these designs. So the whiteboard's good, but this is just to serve a point. I'm gonna do it on paper in the next video. So our first feature is that we wanna create a trip, right? So what do we, this is your phone screen, let's just imagine. What do we want this to look like when we create a trip, right? Do we want, probably, probably we're gonna say, you know, create trip. Create new trip. So it's just a title. People, people will need to know what's going on, right? Um, then below that, we're, I mean, it's gonna be essentially kind of like a form, right? Because we're just collecting data. So this is gonna be, you know, it will probably have a trip name. And then we'll have a input here. 
And then we're going to do the date. And so for the dates, we're going to want kind of like a calendar picker, right? So maybe we put, uh, I mean, it'll be an input, I guess, but it'll be an input of calendar. This will just be a text input. The date is there, and then we want location as well. And that will just be a search. So you can search any location in the world. Uh, but it'll be one of those nice ones where you, you know, you like click it, you start typing, all the locations come up. That's what we want. Uh, and that's that's simple base, basic right there, but that doesn't look good, right? This looks like a boring form. So that's what we want the page to be like. And since we're in a wireframe right now, here's what we can do. If we want to change this, like let's say we want, let's say we want to put the date as an actual, uh, actual calendar, right? Let's say we want to put this to be like, you know, a grid of a calendar. And now this is our calendar and then this would be like, choose the date. So now you can just like X off the days that you're going. That's why a wireframe is great because we can do that quick change and see what, see how much better it looks, you know? And then we can do location can be, you know, back down here. Back down here with like, uh, I guess it would be the same for now. But I mean, the point is, is that we can fastly change things out and see, do we like the way this looks better or do we like it the way when it was just a text box? And what this is gonna allow us to do is just like quickly iterate through a bunch of different ideas. And then once we find kind of the ideas we like best, then we'll use those later in the, on the computer in the actual design, like the actual like mock-up of the app. So yeah, that's why we want to do wireframing, mainly because it's fast and we can get things done quick. That's it for now for planning and wireframing. We're going to do the full wireframes of all the pages of the app in the next video. One other thing I want to talk about before we're done with this video is the budget. So we want to do this app as inexpensively as possible. One Man Startup is about you starting everything by yourself, just getting the ball rolling, getting it all started and doing it for cheap. Um, that being said, we are going to have down the line, we're going to need some money, some startup money, right? But it's, gonna, it's not going to be that much. I'm thinking the budget is going to be about $300. And let me, I'll just quickly break that down. So $300, this, this is if we want, if we want the app on iOS and Android, iOS charges, which is Apple, Apple charges $100 for a developer license for the year. So Apple is going to cost us $100 basically. I think it's like $99, but Apple's going to cost us $100. Don't buy this yet. If you don't already have it, you don't need to buy it yet. We'll buy it when we're, when we're ready at that phase. But keep in mind that we are going to need that money. So maybe start saving now or putting money to the side for this. Um, the other marketing is going to be the other marketing is going to be the other money that we're going to need. And I think we're going to do a $200 marketing budget. And the reason for this is once your app is built, as, as we've discussed, once your app is built, you need people to discover it. And we're not only going to do paid ways. We're not only going to do, we're not only going to do marketing through paid, paid marketing, but we do want to do some paid marketing. And basically we're going to test different ways of paid marketing and see which one works best for your app. But these $200 for marketing are definitely going to be well worth, well worth it because it's going to bring you new users. And then that's in turn going to bring you profit. So, Keep this in mind. We want to be saving, save up about $300 and we'll probably use that in like two, like towards the last week of the project. So like two weeks from now, but, um, yeah, so that's it for now. That's, uh, this episode, next episode, we're actually going to do the real wireframing. So see me over there. All right. Ciao for now.